hello guys it's my pleasure to see you again hopefully you feel the same way anyway I want to share with you some feedback some meditations that I come across and that I'm implementing into my life and I wanted to share them with you so you can implement them in your life so these are the meditations that have been practiced by Stoics and maybe you know that I am very close or I have very strong feelings strong positive feelings towards Stoic philosophy and funny enough yesterday I started listening to this audiobook during my morning walks like right now and the book is the way of peaceful warrior I recommend to you to listen to it as well and one of in the first chapter there was one part that reminded me exactly about one meditation that Stoics used to do. I don't know the name of the meditation, but basically it is like imagine yourself and you look at yourself from the perspective of the third person. So like you are watching yourself in place and then you expand and you go far, far, far until you see like yourself from from above and like you are flying away from yourself so you are expanding the picture and you see yourself getting smaller and smaller all the way that you see the earth the milky way the galaxy you know the whole universe and when we do that the actually purpose of this meditation is is that uh, you know things that might bother you stop bothering you because you see yourself such small you know you are just part of the whole picture part of the universe and these small problems are like not existent so this is one of the meditations you can implement into your life into your lifestyle but then there is another meditation who I just come up with and let's call it front porch meditation and it's it operates on the principle of intuition intuitive body and getting in touch with yourself with your inner knowing sometimes you know when you have hard decisions to make or you feel lost in life or maybe you even feel good like myself it can give you a different perspective on how to improve and this is exactly what happened to me right now and that's that was the trigger for me to share this with you so what it is about front porch meditation is that imagine yourself sitting on the front porch of your house or maybe you don't need to be necessary on the front porch, it can be anywhere. And you are 100 years old, maybe you are drinking, maybe you are smoking, I don't know. I will leave that up to you. And notice yourself. Notice these things. What are you drinking? What are you doing? Are there children around? Are you there alone? Or is there anybody else with you? How do you feel about that? Also notice what you are thinking about while being at the front porch. And as you are noticing these things, you might want to journal it and see where these thoughts, where this inner knowing leads you. The point is that, for example, when I imagine myself with my experience right now, it's like a reflection of my current life, where I spend a lot of time focusing on sports, on learning new things, sharing with you people. But this means that I'm neglecting my personal relationships. So when I saw my, myself today on the front porch, I was there alone, just like sitting right here. So it's amazing actually, because it was, yeah, exactly, I imagined myself like I'm here right now. It was just half an hour ago. And as I'm sitting there, I notice that do I, do I have these feelings like, do I feel alone? 
No. It's like, it was more like, if I want to, I can find the relationship, even though I'm neglecting it right now. So I'm completely fine with that. And what it tells me is that I'm not neglecting it, really. But for you, it might be a completely different thing. You know, you might feel alone. You might feel neglected or neglecting some part of your life, some part of your body. And you want to journal this and then analyze it a little bit. Well, and then third thing is very simple, and that is simply writing down each morning, starting the day with gratefulness, gratefulness practice. So just write down three things that are, you are grateful for. However, the important thing is that you cannot fool your brain, you know. So, for example, you cannot or should not write things like I'm grateful for not having cancer. I mean, of course you can be grateful for that, but it's not really being grateful because you haven't experienced it. It's not like um, not many people, 99% of you people will not be really grateful. You will not feel grateful for that. That's my point. So it should be something that you are really grateful for, even if it was something like that makes you smile just for a second or two. And another point is that when it comes to gratefulness, you should be also grateful for things that are from the past or in the present, not from the future. So not like I want to be grateful or I'm grateful for the holiday that I will be taking in two months or next week or tomorrow. So it has to become it has to come from your past or your present. I am grateful now that I'm here speaking to you that I have this amazing phone, that I have this amazing microphone which allows me to this technology allows me to share with you guys. And I'm really grateful that there is at least one person listening to to this. My mother. <laughs> so yeah. Start your day with this helpful meditation. You don't need to do all of them, just pick yours. If I had to choose, I would choose... If I had to choose one, I would choose gratefulness as the main one. Gratefulness meditation or gratefulness practice. And the other two you can do, let's say, just once a week. You don't need to do them every day, also it's helpful. And with that, I'm leaving you. So let me know in the comments when you implement this in your life. Let me know how it changes your perception and how it changes your emotions, what you find about yourself. You have a great day.